no tunnels here. It's one tunnel that goes from a half a block. I don't think there's human trafficking here. That's, that's crazy. This is a Hasidic Jew popping out of a tunnel beneath a historic Jewish synagogue in Brooklyn that was being used to illegally expand the church. After cement trucks came to fill up the hole, a riot broke out between the Jewish community and NYPD, leading many to speculate something more nefarious was going on. So I showed up to see what I could learn. Hey, is there any way we can go inside? No. We're, we're just curious what's going on. There's a bunch of guys inside Chabad, which we would call like extreme right. They're mostly Israelis. They, they wanted to start the expansion of 770. The tunnel is not an actual tunnel, right? People are saying tunnels, Jews, home, home human trafficking. It's just like they uncovered dirt that was already... They wanted to get in. They wanted to back way in. It's through a main room. It's a big... Everything there already existed. Like, Got they it. They were just okay. uncovering dirt. They were going to go behind the, the back of the management because they were like, okay, they can't figure this shit out. Let's let's do it ourselves. So this was discovered like a few weeks ago. The management found out about it. Yesterday, a cement truck arrived around the corner and they were going to fill it up with cement. This group of of Chabad people, they decided, first of all, they busted the pipes over there, and then um, they came in here from the inside, and they started breaking the wall, sledgehammers. So the cops are claiming that it's a uh, structural danger. So how did the NYPD get involved so heavily right here? Because I'm assuming the, the management to call them. So the this building isn't actually owned by the church? It is owned, but it's just complicated. Okay. I don't even know myself. The point is, there's no human traffic going on. Sure.